Hi, this is Jaden from XLR Security, and today I'm going to show you how to add a Hikovision camera onto a Uniview NVR. I have a Hikovision camera currently connected to a PoE switch in my network, and the PoE switch is connected to my router. The Uniview NVR is also connected to the same router, so everything is on the same network and communicating together. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Easy Tools 2.0 in order to find all of our devices on the network, including the Uniview camera and the Hikovision NVR. So as we can see, this is our Uniview NVR with the IP of 10.0.0.220. And this is our Hikovision camera with the IP of 192.168.254.2. And the reason why this is a different IP is because this Hikovision camera was previously being used on a Hikovision NVR. So it has a different IP for my network. It has a static IP. We need to change this. And if I go ahead and try to log into the camera using my internet browser, we can see that it's actually not responding. And the reason why is because my computer has a different IP address than this um, network, basically. They're on a different subnet, different network. So what we can do is we open up the Network Connections tab uh, by clicking on the Start menu and typing in Network Connections. And from this tab, we need to set our computer to a static IP. Now the first thing we need to do is use Command Prompt. Type in ipconfig slash all and copy all of the settings you see here for the IPv4 address, the subnet mask, the default gateway, and the DNS servers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, and I will fast forward in one moment once all the information has been filled out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and copied all the information from the command prompt into the IP configuration menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Advanced, and I'm going to add a new IP address. So what we want to do is add the new IP address that's in the same network as the Hike Vision camera, which is actually 192.168.254.2. So I'm going to set my computer to 192.168.254.10. That way it's going to be in the same network. I'm going to click Add. Click OK, OK, and Yes. Now that I have my computer set to two IP addresses, I'm going to go ahead and refresh this IP, and we should be able to see the Hike Vision camera pop up in just a moment. OK, the Hike Vision camera just popped up. It took about 15 seconds, but it's here. I'm going to go ahead and log in to the camera. I will navigate to configuration. First, make sure that in the, under advanced settings, you have open network video interface turned on. So mine already is turned on. Then I will go to basic settings and set a new IP address. So for, for my network, because my Uniview camera is in 10.0.0 IP, this also needs to be in the 10.0.0 IP. I'm going to set this to 10.0.0.200 and the default gateway is going to be 10.0.0.1. I will go ahead and click save. If it asks you to reboot the camera, click OK. And we will wait for the camera to reboot, so I'm going to skip about 30 seconds. So I've waited about one minute, and I'm going to go ahead and actually refresh Easy Tools to rescan the network. We should see the Hike Vision on the new IP address. So yeah, right away we refresh the network, and the Hike Vision camera has an IP of 10.0.0.200, exactly as we have set it. Now that your Hike Vision camera and Uniview NVR are in the same network. Go ahead and navigate to the Uniview NVR's camera adding interface. It should be under Setup, Camera, and Camera again. Next, I'm going to select a free slot. So in this case, we'll choose port number four. 
click on modify and choose the adding mode as IP address. Set the protocol to onvif and enter the IP address for the high vision camera. In this case, it's 10.0.0.200. The port should be 80. Username admin and go ahead and enter your password for the high vision camera and then click save. Give it about 15 to 30 seconds and you can go ahead and click refresh and the camera should show up online very shortly. As you can see, mine is showing online. Now we go to live view. We can play this camera and we can see that this is the Hike Vision camera and it is online on a Uniview NVR. So that was quite simple, just a couple steps. If you are having any issues and you're not sure why it's not working, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to you and hopefully you can get it working. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye now.